Injuries incurred at work make you eligible to be compensated according to South African law. But what if your home is now your workplace? It appears the law is clear that where you work is your workplace, even if it's not on employers' premises. Should our bosses really be keeping us safe in our own home? Andrew Levy has been working in labor law for over 40 years and is one of the founding commissioners of the CCMA. So let's get some answers from him. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the workplace, as it's contemplated in the Occupational uh, Health and Safety Act, uh, does that include your home if you're working from home? And if it does, what are the responsibilities then of the employer? It's a very, very interesting question because in point of fact, um, if you read the definition of workplace in the Act, uh, it boils down to any place in which work is done. And on that definition, your home would be a workplace, or if not all of your home, certainly the areas in which you work. Um, it also means that the employer needs to take steps to make sure that your home is safe. Um, now, it's not automatic that the employer is to blame if there is an accident, because obviously the uh, person working at home, the employee, must not be negligent. But it was made quite clear at the time that uh, the various regulations were put in place for home working that, in fact, it did fall within the ambit of the, uh, the OSH Act, the Occupational Safety and Health Act, and that, in addition, um, there were certain obligations on the employer to uh, um, take whatever steps are reasonable, and, and that's the actual word in the statute, are reasonable to ensure that there is a safe working environment, but it doesn't absolve the employee of the duty of care. So what are then the steps that the employers need to take in this case? Uh, does this mean going to, to each employee's house to ensure that it's a safe working environment? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if you, if you take the statute literally, the, the answer is yes, it does. Um, and the employer has to uh, um, conduct an inspection and ensure that it's safe. Uh, but I think that is really practically very difficult. So what an employer could do is to, to simply say, look, here are some basic ground rules uh, about keeping your workplace at home safe. Make sure there are no electric flexes trailing on the ground that you could trip over make sure that there are no mats you could slip on, um, make sure that all the electrical installations are good and safe. But at the end of the day, um, I don't believe the intention of the statute is to completely absolve the uh, homeowner of any obligation uh, to operate in a safe manner. So I think that if an employer were to put out uh, a set of guidelines as part of their policy for home working, saying, you should do the following things, check the following things in order to ensure um, that your home is safe. If it's not, let us know. Um, I, I, I think that would be uh, a reasonable step uh, to expect the employer to go and inspect every single home uh, would in fact probably not fall within the ambit of what is reasonable. Uh, but as always, a court may take a different view. Yeah, so it's, it's just for the employer then to, uh, to, to notify their employees about the potential risks and make sure they're safe. Now, when it comes to working from home, what then qualifies an injury to become a workplace injury? Hmm. Well, you know, an, an, a workplace injury is an injury sustained um, in the workplace during the course of work. Um, it could also be, and this is where it becomes a little murky, um, outside of work, but for example, uh, during lunchtime, uh, which infers that your, your kitchen needs to be reasonably safe. So, you know, I'm not sure that I'd be keen to express an opinion on that one. Um, but, you know, the, the most common and the most troublesome ones, uh, as any proprietor of a large supermarket will tell you, are the slip and fall injuries. And, and these are ones, well, as the name implies, where the customer in the store um, slips on a wet floor or trips over something and falls, and then like a footballer rolls around in agony, screaming, uh, and expect compensation of several million rand. Um, and, and those are the frequent things. I mean, obviously, if the employee were to break a limb 
uh, for argument's sake, uh, then if it happened uh, in the workplace where you were working, if it happened during work, then you would comp you would uh, uh, qualify for a workman's comp claim. Your employer would be required to give you paid sick leave, uh, which he would then later recoup from workman's compensation. And the whole thing becomes a little bit more complex um, because we then get to the stage where safety committees are supposed to uh, conduct inspections after there's been an accident and write reports and things like that. And, and, and the whole thing clearly is a piece of legislation which is written with places where work is done in mind um, and, and not for home, where work is done from home. But uh, certainly uh, that is good, well qualified, no question in my mind. Uh, th that's not to say that if you're at home and you injure yourself, it automatically becomes a workplace injury, even if it takes uh, takes place during the work during the course of a work day, right? It has to be uh, within uh, th the scope and course uh, of your responsibilities, if I understand it correctly. Yeah, that's absolutely right. If, for example, you decide, uh, look, I've done enough work for today, I'm going to take the afternoon off and paint my roof. Uh, and of course, many home workers do adjust their hours, uh, and and many employers would not have a difficulty with that. It depends on how time sensitive it is. But they decide right this afternoon, I'm going to paint my roof. They fall off the roof, they uh, injure their back very badly. Uh, have you got a workman's comp claim? No, you don't. Uh, it was not in the course of duties. All right, Andrew, thank you so much for clarifying that for us. Uh, we appreciate it. People will be working from home for a long time to come, it seems, so that clarity is important. Labor lawyer Andrew Levy joining us on Newslink.